I want to share deep wisdom from my mother. But before I start, let me just say one thing. From your comments, I always know somebody who is childish. I know somebody who is unreasonable. I know somebody who is not properly brought up. I know somebody who is not a deep thinker. So I am waiting for your comments and I will analyze them. However, my mother taught me that when she walks past a mad person, somebody who is crazy or a lunatic that is armed, that she usually turns back to watch if the man continued his journey or the woman continues his, her journey with her arms and her lunacy. And that she never ever allows an armed, insane person walk behind her. And I shared this with my wife. My <laughs> wife said that if she sees an armed lunatic coming in her direction, that she usually crosses to the other side. And uh, I expected that she would be binding the person, but she usually crosses to the other side. Listen, if somebody who is a lunatic or crazy or mad does anything, that person cannot be held liable for that offense. There are two cases that the defendant lawyer can plead. One is the plea of lunacy or insanity. And then there's another one, the law of testamental capability. So, be very careful when you relate with people. Number one, if somebody who is not an adult commits an offense, he might not be guilty or liable for the offense committed and might not suffer punishment and usually they are tried in juvenile courts and might not be punished like an adult. So before you take risks with people, be very careful. Can this person be held accountable for his or her actions? What does this individual have to lose? What will society say if I put pressure on this person to get justice. I gave you an example. Uh, if somebody riding a motorbike or what we, a tricycle, what we call keke na pep in Nigeria, hits your vehicle in, a, in traffic, number one, if you come out to insist that he pays for the repairs and the damages, he doesn't have the financial capacity. And if you insist, you will be seen as an oppressive person. There was a case in 1985-86 at uh, Park, Road, uh, Park Road and George's Junction. That time Range Rover was a prime car. And somebody with a 404 taxi, 404 Pujo, hit the rear lights of the Range Rover car. And the rear lights were damaged. And the man came out the taxi driver slept on the ground, prostrated on the ground, begging the man. And there is a system of justice in our bank that is very strange. People came and were begging the man. The man insisted that the taxi driver must pay for the repairs or buy the real lights. And then somebody came and met the man. Sir, you were able to buy this car. Is it the real lights that are difficult for you to replace that you must oppress this Poor man, that one left. Another man came, sir, this car is yours. This man can't buy the real lights. Do you want to kill him because of the real lights? After three, four people came, social justice prevailed on the mind of the man. And the man told the taxi driver with his 404 Pujo to go. Be very careful who you trust. Be very careful who you entrust your goods to his hands. Be very careful who you allow to walk behind you. Be very careful who you entrust your future into his hands. There's one thing in Nigeria, in politics in particular, your governor has immunity. Your president has immunity. So no matter what they do wrong, they are not held accountable. The Supreme Court in America just recently said that 
Donald Trump as president has presidential immunity and is, cannot be held liable for any offenses committed while being a president. And that's, that is the law. So who are you relating with? Who are you in relationship with? Who is your wife? Who is your business partner? Who is managing your resources? Be very careful. Remember the plea of lunacy and the law of testamental capability. There are some troubles you avoid by crossing to the other side of the road. There are some people 